Hi, welcome on Things to Consider. Today we're going to consider the factors that you have to uh, uh, take note of in choosing uh, a cooling system to cool electronic and electrical enclosures. First of all, you have to look at the rating of the control panel. Is it a NEMA 4, is it a NEMA 12, or an IP56, an IP66? Is it inside or outside? The rating of the panel itself is going to determine what you're able to use. For example, in a NEMA 4 or IP66 type of control panel, you can't really put a fan on it because it has to be relatively sealed. Because in no situation, it has to be subject to a washdown. Uh, if you put a fan on there, you can get water inside the control panel and that's not good. So uh, the rating is very, very important. The second thing you have to really consider is the plant environment itself. And quite often, this is not focused on as much as it should be. Because the worse the environment, uh, the more you have to start considering alternatives to just fans or even air conditioners. Because in those kind of environments, uh, fans and air conditioners especially are very heavily negatively affected. For example, if you have a relatively clean environment in the factory, uh, you can put a fan on it. Um, if it's a very high heat load on the inside, you can even use air conditioners on it. But both fans and air conditioners have filters that have to be replaced. Uh, air conditioners in particular also produce condensate, which has to be disposed of, and that's a cost. And these things should be considered. But regular maintenance on air conditioners and fans involve basically changing filters. The dirtier the factory, the more often you've got to change those filters. And that's a cost. It's a cost of the filter. It's a cost of getting rid of the filter. It's a cost of maintenance time in putting that filter in. Time that could be spent better elsewhere. So the dirtier the factory, the more the maintenance costs go up. Uh, heat pipes. Heat pipes are a nice way to uh, take heat from the inside of a panel out, but heat pipes cannot reduce the temperature to below what the ambient is. If the ambient temperature in a factory is very, very high, you're better off to go to an air conditioning or a vortex cooler system to cool the control panel. Water cooling is used quite often in very, very dirty environments. They can cool very well, but you have to have the water available. In addition, this water has to be treated. Uh, if the uh, water is not treated, you can get scale buildup, and of course that means higher maintenance and means downtime. So first of all, you have to have water, and water isn't always readily available to cool control panels. So fans in a more clean environment, heat pipes uh, in a relatively cool environment, uh, water if it's available, but more often than not, people go to air conditioners. And again, if the factory environment is really, really bad, that air conditioner cost for maintenance is going to go up and up and up. The dirtier the environment, the more often you have to change the filters. Uh, if it's a factory where there's heavy vibration, that air conditioner is not going to last very long or it has to be maintained more often. You have to replace the chemical inside the air conditioner more often. All this is a cost. It's a cost in personnel time, it's a cost in outside contractor time, and it's a cost in even replacing those air conditioners. They have a limited lifespan. So when you get to a very, very dirty environment, you then have to really consider using compressed air operated vortex coolers. The working schoolers have virtually no maintenance. They're not subject to vibrational damage. No chemicals, no condensate is produced. They can be put on a control panel and just left to run. And uh, there's other advantages that it has as well. Um, but basically, it's the maintenance saving that really shines. There's no filters to replace. They keep the panel at a slightly positive pressure. They keep out a very dirty environment. So when you get to a very, very dirty environment, that's when you start looking at vortex coolers because the maintenance savings offset any increased uh, energy cost utilizing the compressed air. So these are the things to consider in cooling a control panel. The rating of the panel, the factory environment, and then of course you have these choices to make.